today I'm going to show you how to use MSI Afterburner as a screen recorder and specifically an in-game screen recorder because right now I'm using Cam Studio which is what I usually uh, what is excuse me ugh, I'm tongue-tied which is what I usually record or used to record um, my desktop tutorials or um, reviews or uh, anything how to's anything like that but here recently any gameplay that I've been recording I've been using MSI Afterburner one because Camp Studio um, has horrible frame rate in game, and two because Camp Studio doesn't like to record a lot of games in game. If you try to record something in game with Camp Studio, it'll simply just record your your desktop and not the game. Um, and what I mean by that is, if you have the game window open and you're recording, when you get done with the video, go watch it. It won't show the game window, just your desktop. So. I found MSI Afterburner, which is a program that usually tells you the um, the speeds of your cores and your GPUs and your um, uh, um, graphics cards and how how much they're overclocked and how much room you have to overclock and frequencies and things like that. But there's a, a an extra feature within MSI Afterburner that most people don't know about. And it is the in game screen recorder. So, this is the MSI Afterburner. See, it has the core, vo the core voltage, power limit, um, core clock, memory clock, fan speed, things like that. This is, you know, primarily for overclocking and system specs. But there, you know, like I said, there's that little extra feature. So, if you want to access the in game recorder, which I have it pinned to my taskbar down here, but it won't come like that, what you need to do is first download the program which you can uh, find MSA Afterburner by googling it just type in uh, Afterburner and it'll come up and you just download it directly from their website um, so what you want to do is come here hit all programs or click your start menu then go to all programs scroll down to you find MSI Afterburner which is right here and then within MSI Afterburner you should see I don't have mine here because I already have it pinned but it will say um, it will say on screen recorder or something along those lines and then when you click that it'll come up and it'll look like this whenever it comes up or wants to um, and w what it is is the uh, this this is the um, in-game screen recorder and this is going to show you you know how to um, record in game and what you want to do is you is uh, you want to come here and you want to turn um, these things on these two selections on they might come off if they do turn them on and uh, you want to select Vector 2D and um, leave your zoom at normal and that's pretty much all you need to do with this and then uh, you want to come up here and make sure it says show on screen display make sure that's on as well um, from here what you need to do is don't don't mess with this anymore what you need to do is come to settings on the actual MSI afterburner come to settings and then what you want to do is go over and click the video capture um, tab and what that's going to do is it's going to show you your um, hotkey to record, which is F9. So when you're in game, you can hit F9, and it'll start recording. And there will be a uh, there will be a pink um, bar with numbers in it and stuff up here in your left hand um, side of your screen that you guys probably see a lot of in my videos when I record. And but what you need to do here is you need to mess around with some of the settings in here. You need to make sure you have your hotkey set, and your quality at whatever you want, frame rate at whatever you want. But if you want it to capture your sound and your microphone, you need to come down here, make sure that you enable the sound recording, and then audio source source one. You want to select, you want to click the um, drop down menu, click direct capture sound, direct sound capture device. That's going to bring up another selection menu underneath that because originally it's going to look like this. So you want to click this, and it's going to bring up another one, and then underneath that you want to select your microphone. And then leave source 2 to auto select so it records the end game sound. And then go ahead and hit OK and you're ready to go. And that's all you got to do. And it's a very low resource recorder, so it's not going to um, completely drop your frame rate to shit. And then you're not going to be able to record anything. Not at all with this. This is going to record at a pretty decent rate, low resource, so you're not going to get too much of frame rate drop, even though you may get some, but it's not going to be too bad. But, um,. Overall, it's a very good program, and I'm happy with it. I've only recorded a, a couple of videos with it, and I haven't had any problems. Um, but if I run into any, I will definitely let you guys know. I'm doing pre pretty good with it so far, so I recommend it to all you guys if you like to record in-game. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd do this quick t tutorial and let you guys know that this is a very good in-game recorder, and it's free. 
Um, so go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, drop a comment if you have any questions. And rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Later.